Let's take a look now at another very versatile feature of one CNC, and that's the ability to save geometry as a pattern and then incorporate that pattern later on into any part file. Well, to demonstrate this, let's save this geometry as a pattern. First thing you want to do is select the geometry, head up here to File, and then choose this option called Save Pattern. Once you do that, you want to give it a name. I'm just going to call this Four Bolts. And that looks good, so let's go ahead and save that. Now one CNC wants us to know, how do we want to locate this pattern here? Well, we want to choose a location as an anchor point or a target point. I'm going to use the arc center and just grab the center of that arc, and that's it. This geometry now has been saved as a pattern. Now let me demonstrate how you can easily load this pattern into any part file. Let's head up here to Window. I'm going to open up this other part here, and what we're going to do is we're going to head back up to File, but this time we're going to choose the option called Load Pattern. Once that happens, one CNC presents us with the list of different patterns. I'm going to select four bolts, just double click that. Now one CNC says, all right, how do you want to locate it? Well, I'm going to locate this by an endpoint. So I'm going to snap that endpoint there. Once that's done, one CNC brings back up the pattern list. We can select a different pattern. I'm just going to use the same one there, so I'm going to double click on that. Again, I'm going to use endpoint, left hand mouse click, and when we're done, we can just click cancel on that. And that's it. Very, very simple. And at this point, you can do whatever you want. I might, for example, head up here to extrude, extrude cut, and let's grab the large circles and just cut them through the part. Very, very easy, very versatile. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.